the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us? When they looked up, they saw the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back, and they entered the tomb. They saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been risen. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is a place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb. For terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm, all right, y'all, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting for this moment. It's like my soul has been waiting to leap out of my chest to preach this sermon today. This is prime time, baby. This is it. This is the big Sunday, the Sunday of all Sundays. I love it, I love it, and I've been waiting so long. Since Kyle told me that I am pre going to preach this sermon, for some reason I've been like doing this, like putting up my dukes, like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to preach that Easter sermon. I don't box, like, and, uh, you know, I don't fight. Like, I tried that once, and I was terrible at it. And uh, so, I mean, I, I don't know why, but I've been doing this the whole time. It's just, it's, it's so big. It's so wonderful. It's so amazing. It's so awesome. It's such a party, such a celebration. It's not, just, it's not just a party. This is the party. The party of everything, of all of creation. This is not just a day, an event. It's not just a particular occasion. It's not just about one person. It is about all of it. Everything that has ever existed is being drawn up through the cross and into resurrection and new life. Can I get an amen for that, please? Oh my goodness, it feels so good, doesn't it? It feels so good. It is the story. And let me tell you why. It's not, it's not just a day. You have heard it said to you that uh, Easter Sunday is, you know, the Sunday where you wake up, uh, you eat chocolate way too early, uh, and you go through the day and you have a wonderful time hunting eggs, and then at the end of the day, the day is over. That is not true. Do not believe what Walmart and Walgreens are telling you about Easter. It is a season of 50 great days 50 great days that outnumbers lent by 10 whole days and it is a challenge it is a challenge for us to party the whole time to celebrate the feast of the resurrection of our lord jesus christ and to keep it going it is a challenge it is the party at the center of all of life and creation and it was inaugurated 2000 uh, well, some almost 2,000 years ago when our Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead, the party. And just think about what it means. Think about what it means. If you were here on Good Friday and you know the story, we threw all of our evil, all of our nastiness, all of our stuff that we had, all of that negativity we have inside, 
The soldiers spit on Jesus. They crucified him, a shameful, terrible death. Like, God came to be with us and love us, and we rejected that love as, as much as we possibly could. And at that moment, if there was going to be another flood or some big moment of destruction again, it should have happened because God's son came. We rejected him, and we showed him how evil we can be. We took our best shot. And three days later, God says, no, peace, new life, new creation, love, grace, it all wins the story. Human evil is not going to win this story. It's always going to be God's love and God's grace. And that is a reason to celebrate the party. Can I please get another amen? amen. Thank you. It feels so good. It feels so good. So the question then becomes, how do we get this party started right? Well, we're starting very well today. We're pulling out all the stops. We got lovely flowers. We've got a lot of good-looking people out there. Y'all look good today. Y'all did well. And we've got a wonderful, wonderful choir with some music to, to oh, it's so amazing. Thank y'all so much for being here. And we've got a 30-minute sermon. <laughs> You know, the funny part is some of y'all may be from other traditions and you're like, just 30 minutes? That's going to be plenty of time to get where we're going. No, I, I couldn't do 30 minutes. I'm not capable of that. Uh, yeah, so I, I, uh, uh, amen, amen. That'll get an amen. Not capable of 30 minutes. Yeah, so we're pulling out all the stops and we're getting this started. This is how we do it. Uh, the other way uh, that you might get a party started, so the next time you're at a social gathering and uh, you walk in and you're like, hey, what's up, y'all? Doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, I hope y'all do it like that. You're shrugging your shoulders. You're like, yeah, what's up? Maybe that's why people don't talk to me. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, so next time you're at a social gathering, I'll tell you what you should do. When they ask you, hey, what's your name and what do you do? You say, hey, I'm a priest. That'll get the party started, I promise you. Try it. As, as soon as you say I'm a priest, people are going, okay, what did I just say? I can't, I know I said something I shouldn't have uh, on the car ride over, but I can't remember if I've said anything since I've been talking to this guy. That gets the party started. No, not at all. Not at all. Don't do that. But if you want to get the Easter party started, and you want to be able to last the full 50 days, what I am prescribing to you today it's just to let a tiny little bit of resurrection into your heart. Just a little bit of resurrection, it doesn't take much. And I said heart for a reason there, because when it comes to resurrection, your head will get in the way. Your head will start saying things like, uh, three days later, how can that happen? Science tells us you can only, your brain can only go without activity for you know, a minute or so, and then it's done. Like Your head is going to get in your way of the idea of resurrection. So if you lead with your heart and just let a little bit into your heart. So I'm talking about things like, like spring and like the fact that the flowers come back and the grass comes back and there's always new life every spring. If you see that, you say, hmm, there's something to this creation story that seems to bring back, the earth comes back to life every year. What does that mean? How does that affect my heart? Hmm, maybe it's resurrection and maybe you'd say to yourself, I have seen people in my life that have been down and out and they've been in the, the depths of despair and something has happened to them. Something has changed their life and they've picked their life up and they've been able to live a life of abundance and a life of joy. Maybe just a little bit of resurrection gets into your heart and you can lead from your heart. And then, my brothers and sisters, by the time that your heart is telling you that the Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and all of creation is being drawn back to him to its reconciliation and redemption that one day the new heaven will meet the new earth. When your heart is singing that, at that point, we can look each other in the eye and we can say, I love you just because you are who you are, just because you are a fellow child of God, just because we've been raised together to new life. I love you. And then we can walk out this door and change the world that needs new life so, so desperately much. So, so much. If we can allow a little bit of resurrection in our heart, the process is going to start 
grace is going to start happening in our hearts. Let me give you an example uh, from a time in my life. When I was in college, uh, I did what a lot of college folks do. I took a break from the church, uh, and, uh, but I did go to camp, Bratton Green, a lot. Uh, and I was a musician out there. I led music uh, for the kids at camp. And uh, it was my second summer there, and I was kind of used to doing it. And it was a third and fourth grade session, and we played a song. And I thought, well, this is just going to be a, another version of this song, All God's Critters. Uh, you know, my head was kind of in the way of my heart. I was going to give it, you know, my best. Uh, but I knew, you know, we're just doing this thing over because it's the time to do the song. And then I don't know what was happening with these kids, y'all. They must have had a little resurrection or something in their heart. Because when I looked out there and they were singing, all God's critters have a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing high. They were leaping up to the ceiling and they had such joy in their hearts that immediately, like, my head just got out of the way. And I was playing the guitar, but I don't remember playing it. And I was just leaping. like It was like a skip leap. It was something weird. It was like a wah, and a wah, and a wah, and a... And man, it was some of the, the most heaven-sent, some of the most Easter party moments that I've ever had uh, in my life, where my heart opened up, I let a little bit in, and then all of a sudden, I was dancing like a fool. Have y'all ever danced like a fool? Come on, you got to get that Easter party going. Dance like a fool. All right, so I am going to give y'all a little opportunity. uh, A little opportunity to let a little bit of resurrection into your heart. Uh, I have this week challenged myself uh, in a Holy Week challenge uh, to play the guitar a little bit because I had gotten away from it and share my music. Uh, And so I've been posting that all week long, and I thought it would be awesome and wonderful if I could get y'all to help me with my last post. Uh, so excuse me for just a minute if I can get my phone. And I show off, uh, this is how also how you get the party started with these pants here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what we've got going here is uh, we're going to get us, I'm going to take a page out of the bishop's book. Uh, and I'm going to get a little selfie going. But it's going to be a selfie video. That is progressive there. All right. So, hey, Kyle. <laughs> All right. That looks good right there. All right. So, but I need your help with this. We're going to get a little resurrection in here. Uh, I need, it's got two parts. So y'all's part is going to be, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And then y'all are going to sing, praise ye the Lord. So it goes, Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. And now stay here. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, praise ye the Lord. Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. All right, that was just rehearsal. This time I need y'all to stand up. All right, there's the key we need. All right. All right, now sing it like uh, you just learned that Jesus Christ is risen and you're amazed and you're terrified and you're, you're just ready to get this thing going. Here we go. Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. I can't hear you. Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. Back to y'all. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. All right, if you feel it in your heart, you're going to start to sway a little bit. Here we go. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Here we go. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. B, 
big ending. Praise ye the Lord. All right. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. Remember to keep the Easter party going and let a little bit of resurrection into your heart. Amen. Never had a roadie before. <laughs> Thank you. Now will you please stand again as we affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one oh God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten.